I uh, grew up in Gore, went on road for school for two years and uh, yeah, and then came back to Dunedin for seven and then down here since 2008. Yeah, so. so tell us about your rugby career, you, you started out quite young in the big time. Uh, yeah, I was North Targo was 17 and yeah, uh, that was 2000 so I've been going since then, so 12 years, so the body's given up on me, I'm <laughs> getting old, so uh, just winding it down. And how did you come to be in Southland? Uh, actually, Otago didn't resign me, so South and Connolly offered, and uh, been here ever since. And it's probably been the best move because we uh, managed to sneak the shield off the old Cantabrian, so it was good. And the harness racing side of things, how did you get involved in that? Uh, John Hardy, he's a rugby player. He started it, and uh, Tom Kilkelly uh, trained one for us. Just Jack Ellett was no good, but he trained, and we sold it. And Tom was really good, and then uh, I don't know, just took an interest and. Yeah, I don't know what's happened since then, it's sort of snowballed, I think. And, and some of the other horses you've been involved with as well, tell us about those. Uh, we had Just Jack Allo, who won none for us and went to Aussie and won three or four. The guardsman, he won two for us, he's now an Aussie, he's won three or four over there as well. Flaxton Philly, she's sold to Aussie, she's going to be going soon. And uh, yeah, Fal Keller's the other one that I own myself, my old man, and he passed away, uh, he's just been unlucky. <laughs> And the property we're on now, the training complex, how long have you owned this? Since July, I uh, bought it off Neville Beckley, who's moved to Roxburgh. He, he uh, trained a few horses and, uh, yeah, just thought it would be a good hobby and it's, we're going to do one or two, but it's still, there's a few more here than that. How many horses would you have here at the moment? Uh, a dozen or so, I think. It's working themselves at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's three or four that we race ourselves and the rest are pre-trained for other trainers. And with, with your public profile, you've got the boys involved in horses too now? Yeah, well, they, they, yeah they've always been keen. Like, this is a bit of spare time. and uh, So, they've yeah, we've got a 10-man syndicate of rugby players that are into the odd one or two. And, yeah, they're all, it seems like rugby racing beer goes together, I think. <laughs> and, and you've had a bit of help from local trainers. Who's yeah. helped you out? Uh, well, two, like Tom was the first, and then Wayne Adams and Murray Brown, especially Murray Brown lately, uh, I'd... Did a bit of work there, just teach me a few things, and now nah, they, they, everyone's bloody good. Like anyone you, I can name heaps of them, they all help you out. And then you've got Andrew Armour based here at the moment. He's he's helping you out, or he's based here? No, he's doing. Yeah, I'm I'm helping him out because uh, I don't know anything really. It's, I'm like I'm three months I've been going, so I'm learning. But yeah, he he runs the show, and I um yeah, just, like I said, just learning to because there's a lot I don't know. And, and how much do you do in the cart here? Uh, not so much lately because uh, there's not as many to do, but uh, it's getting there slowly. But like I said the other day, I'm, not, I'm no star to. <laughs> so you don't have any aspirations to get a trial licence or all get out there in the amateur ranks? No, no, I don't think that's for me, to be honest. It's, uh, yeah, I, you know, people were, I'd go on about people driving poorly and that, but I'll never do that now after being in a car. So you've got a new uh, uh, understanding for it? Yeah, well, I can't imagine being in a field of 14 or something, driving around full pace. Like, yeah, they, they deserve uh, the accolades if they do well. What's the best part about being involved in harness racing for you? Uh, probably the people, I think. Because like, I was yesterday, you don't you need luck, and uh, but if people are helping you, and that's the main thing I've found, is just, and I probably wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for people helping and just good people, I think. So do you think you've well and truly got the bug now? You're you're in it for life. Yeah, probably. Unfortunately, I guess. Uh, well, like you just see how we go. Like I love it, and we get up early and work them, and just pot around with them. And it's yeah, it's just something I'm quite passionate about. Just I don't know where it came from, but it just seems to have popped up. And so, do you have any goals in in the future? Is there any particular race or race course that you'd like to get to? Oh, even one for some South Island would be great to take one to Eddington one day, but that's like at the moment just getting a win is a good, uh, or getting one to get around in a piece, getting one to the track even is a, a challenge enough, so yeah, that's long term, but you know, just, just having seen them race like we won yesterday, it's just a thrill enough. So are, are you breeding any or, or buying any to, to bring up? Got a mare up at uh, Mecca Lodge, she's going to Artificial, she's a, Holly Robbins her name, she's out of Robbins Treasure who was a Oaks winner back in the day, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I don't know anything about that either, so just pay the bills when they come in and uh, hopefully you get a fault at the end of it.